Rebecca? Dr. Cuddy? Lisa. Nice to meet you. Oh, you want one? No, thanks. I can't stop eating them. I guess it's like a craving. I must have like a dozen a day. How have you been feeling? Oh, you know, tired, fat, nervous. Is there um <clears throat> anything you want to ask me? Uh, yeah. Actually, I just have one question. Um, what are you going to call her? Ah, uh, I'm not sure. It's all been rather sudden, you know? I like joy. Well, as I said, I haven't really decided yet. Well, is there anything you want to ask me? It's okay. The agency website is filled with prospective parents. There are their photos, their biographies. There's so many wonderful people out there. Wonderful couples. Why did I choose a single mom? I never understood how you could fall for the same crap as your mother. Then I met Tony. When I read your bio, a doctor ahead of a hospital, I saw your picture. I don't want her raised by a loser. How long have you had that rash? I don't know, a few days. Have you had any joint pain? <laughs> yeah, I'm pregnant. All my joints hurt. They shouldn't all hurt. What have you been using? Not in seven months. Not since I found out I was pregnant. Well, that needs to be checked out. Blood work's normal. Test it again. Tested it twice. I'll get you some topical cream for that rash. I'm admitting her. There's nothing wrong with her. There are dozens of other things this rash could indicate. I want a full fetal workup. You're losing it. That's what happens when you have kids. Ceaseless crying and nagging leads to irrational fears. It's impressive that she didn't wait for the actual crying and nagging. She had a lace pattern rash, joint pain, and a history of drug abuse. She would have done exactly the same thing. Huh? And I'd be an excellent father. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Baby barf. Maternity ward was handing out free samples. Well played, sir. You leave me no choice but to change. My clothes, not my mind. That's exactly my point. It's not going to be me and a cop. It's going to be eight times a day. If you can't handle wearing that stain, you can't handle a baby. Why do you even care? It's not like I'm ever going to ask you to babysit. I'm a humanitarian. The mother had a stage two placental abruption. She's losing blood. So deliver the baby. Ones are 10 weeks premature. So, deliver now, risk the baby. Deliver later, risk the mom. It's not your baby yet. It's not your call. She'll do whatever I tell her to do. Self-worth issues. That's genetic, you know. You should deliver now. Right. Are you serious? You're not? You just told me... The wrong answer. You can give the mom more blood. You can't give the fetus more lungs. The lungs might work. It's the right decision medically. And yet, you're here. To get your opinion, not to get jerked around. See, this is what's screwed up here. You're not sure that this is the right call, but you are sure that this is what you want to tell her. And that scares you, because your motives aren't medical. Some part of you doesn't want this baby. And that part wants to tell her to kill it. This is an impossible situation. I'm advising her to take the safest route. Right. Doesn't explain why you change your sweater. I think, I think you should wait. But if I wait, I could die. There would be more danger for you, but... Is this your opinion as a doctor or as a mother? It's my medical opinion. It's my personal opinion. I don't know. I don't want to wait. It might only be one week. We will keep you on plasma. <laughs> this is not my baby. I've already sacrificed nine months for this stupid mistake. I don't... I don't want to sacrifice anymore. Becca, you asked my opinion because you wanted to do the right thing. 
You are giving up this baby because you don't want to make the mistakes your mom made, her mom made. You have a chance to, to break this cycle, to do something great for this baby. No. Clap. Suction. Entering the abdominal cavity. There's the head. Got a minute? Get out of here. Who's that? Dr. Gregory House. He's the one you'll be suing when you develop sepsis. Well, why is he here? Better question is why is she here? You're an administrator. Administrate. My patient's daughter needs a guardian ad litem. That's it. Tests are inconclusive, but either way, he's gonna need. House, get out! This doesn't need you. I do. Hands out. <laughs> Later. Later's too late. And there she is. Come on, cry. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Joy, cry. Cry, Joy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's the sound we'd like to hear. That goes not out of 10. Got your first A. <laughs> She's yours now. Muzzle tough. Now it's time to say those magic words she'll be telling her for the rest of her life. Mommy's got to go to work. Baby's doing great. I... Well, I can't imagine how hard this must be for you. I was... I was stupid and, and selfish. You were scared. Yeah, but you wouldn't have been. That's not true. Well, I mean, you would have been scared, but you would have done the right thing anyway. And I want to be like that. I don't... I don't want to be a loser. You're not a loser. When I saw you hold her and the look on your face, it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And that's when I realized I can't. Becca. My life, it's always been about pain and anger and disappointment. Never about love. And that's when I realized, you know, it could be. And I can't get that away. Becca, don't do this. Uh, what you're feeling is natural. But you're filled with hormones and emotion and fear and you just can't make a huge decision like this right now. You have to give it some time. I am, oh, I'm so sorry. It's a decision that changes everything. Changes the rest of your life. I hope so. <laughs> 